that um, this function is doing different things at different places. Yes, that's that's uh, that's an that's a, an important worry. How does that? Um, yeah. So how does that uh, uh, affect things here? Are you concerned about the definition in any in any way? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, maybe we should clarify here that when we say to, uh, the limit of f of x equals q, we mean implicitly in this space E. So your worry is, oh, maybe if you think about this function as being defined on a larger space, it doesn't have a limit. Yeah. And so this, this phrase is, it, it implicitly means on the domain that, of the function f. Okay. <clears throat> okay, excellent, excellent questions. So uh, here's another example. This is uh, an example where the limit doesn't exist, even though maybe it does exist from one side or the other. Right? That's the picture I drew up there. But now you can see, here is P. If I approach P, you might ask yourself, is there a Q? for which at, if you're close enough to P, then you're close enough to Q. And you can convince yourself from a picture like this that the answer is no. If you, th if you think this is Q, you're in trouble. Because if I approach from which side, can you, can you see that I won't approach this point Q? From above, right, or from the left. And then this, these things converge here, but these things converge here. And what you can convince yourself is that there's no Q that works. No Q that will satisfy that definition. Okay, So this thing has no limit at, um, as x goes to p. Happy with that? Another example, we don't require E to contain p. So maybe E is this open interval, and maybe P is this endpoint. P does not have to be an E. Have to be an E. It just has to be a limit point of E. So we want to be able to talk about a situation where maybe I have a, a function defined only on E, and it still makes sense to talk about convergence to some Q. Okay, that's that's just pointing out all the different features of this definition. Okay, great. Any questions about this definition? So, if you want to show convergence of a sequence for every epsilon, you have to find a n, an index. If you want to talk about convergence of a function for every epsilon, you have to find a delta. Right, so your, your job to show convergence is to find a delta. <coughs> to show convergence, uh, give an epsilon bigger than zero, find a delta that works, that satisfies the rest of this, um, of this definition. OK. Let me come back to something Paul alluded to earlier, is that there's another way you can think about convergence. Here we're thinking about convergence in terms of balls. But we could actually think about convergence in terms of points that are getting closer and closer to P, and their images getting closer and closer to Q. And so this brings up our first uh, theorem about convergence of functions to uh, limits of functions. And that is, it's equivalent to think it e either way. So I could say the limit uh, as x goes to p of f of x is q. This is true if and only if this is a sequence version. So this is the sequence characterization. OK, I'm 
like a right, a right characterization. I just went blah, 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 blah. Characterization. Okay. Sequence characterization says the following. It says, for all sequences, so it better be true. If this is actually converging, if this limit as f uh, uh, of x is if q as x goes to p, what we're saying is for all sequences that what? Let's give it a name. For all sequences pn in e, that's the first thing. They better be in e. What else? Such that, OK, there's one more condition. I'm just going to demand that none of the pn's are p. I don't allow p to be in my sequence. And pn converges to p, good. We have what? For all such sequence, what better be true? f of pn, the images do what? Converge to q. And then this is sequence convergence. That's the thing you want to notice here. This is sequence convergence. OK? And so now that, that picture becomes the one that I just drew over here. I guess I'll draw it over here. Here is p. Here is q. Here's a bunch of points converging to p. It's pn. And I demand them to be different than p. And uh, their images may be f of pn converge to q. That's the picture you should have. Here's a x. Here's the space y. OK. Everybody happy with that? Let's see why it's true. We can prove this. It's not too bad. How are we going to prove this? Well, let's just go to the definitions, right? How do we prove anything? In uh, mathematics, come back to the definitions, decide whether or not the uh, thing you're trying to prove satisfies the appropriate definition. So here we go. Let's go forward. You can do this. Give an epsilon. Ooh, what am I trying to show? Sequence or uh, convergence of sequences or convergence of functions? Sequences. So I'm going to start with an epsilon bigger than 0. And our goal, which will remain unstated here, is to find a, find a, an n. That's our goal. Okay. That shows that convergence, the green sequence convergence here. That's our goal. Show me that there's a point in this sequence beyond which these terms are within what? Epsilon. Can you tell me when these points are going to be within epsilon? What do you mean the n after the delta? Okay. Okay. So you you agree that for this epsilon there's a delta over here, yes? That 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 satisfies the de this definition. Okay. So what point in the sequence here would you suggest? The image of the the first point, the points that are within here. That's that's. That's the whole idea of the proof right there. We'll just write it out now. So given epsilon, we, we go back to the definition on the left. There exists a delta bigger than 0 such that, OK, it'll make me write this down. D of xp between 0 and delta implies D of uh, f of x q is less than epsilon. Okay. Okay, so for any so for any sequence for a given sequence PN that sat that satisfies those conditions as above. What I mean by as above, I just mean satisfies the conditions there. What can we say? Well there exists there is a point N in the sequence beyond which the distance between pn and p is less than delta. Right? There is an n here 